Welcome to the Fans Daily, the show covering an international football tournament like no one else has ever before, as we cover Euro 2016 with a fan in every single country competing in the tournament. Yesterday we started with the home opener in France and in Romania, as Dimitri Payet made sure France kicked it off with a bang. But today is all about England and the three Euros debutants. Slovakia, Wales and Albania. Copenhagen and I recently visited their capital Tirana and we came to realise that they are one mad football nation who are going crazy just to have qualified for the tournament. Hello Copa fam, today is the big day. It starts today. In the pen! Uh, some of us have work. What else could make Mars Bar change their name? We are small, but with a big heart. This is what it's come to, hiding in the back, at work, to watch football on this tiny screen. Andy, give us a lowdown on what's going on in Tirana, man. Albania must be going off right now. Albania is ready. They're all on the square trying to celebrate harder, later, later. We hope. Also, we will just be far away. A short guide to celebrating at work. Look, I'm happy for Switzerland, great footballing nation, but I just know how much that draw would have meant to Albania, and they got so close. I believe we will win by one goal. If Leicester can win the Premier League, we can win the Euro. We'll win the next two games. After that Wales game, my blood is boiling. I cannot wait for England. God save! Give me a visa, please. Well, England and Russia nil-nil at half time. Now I'm not sure if it's because of that scoreline. Atmosphere wasn't really buzzing that much. You heard about oh here we go. This bar here, the bombardier, and this the atmosphere we're looking for. Alright lads, what's going on? England? Yeah, England! England! England have been completely all over Russia. Come on, England! Come on. England, 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 England. Oh, you're kidding me! Come on, England! Come on, England! Again, it's the decoy, isn't it? Eric Dyer, free kick! Thoroughly gutted. Now we've got to take on Wells. Well, where do you begin? Two match days, two incredible last minute goals that have had a massive effect on the results and a massive effect on the scenes we've seen all around the continent from as far east as Russia to as far west as Wales. But there's another three tomorrow, there's another three games after that, and there's another 40 odd throughout the tournament. And we are covering every single one, not just in Paris, not just in France, but all over the continent. That's it for me. I want to drown my sorrows with the England fans, but make sure you tune in tomorrow as we cover Euro 2016 like no one else.